Hey guys! It took a while to get, but now that I finally have one, welcome to Board Smashing Steam Deck! Huh. Well, that was a quick smash. Wait a second. That's not steam coming out of the device. It's a stream! This isn't the Steam Deck. It's the Stream Deck. God damn it! The intro hasn't even played yet, and the video's already over budget. Okay, after more waiting, and making sure I spelled out the correct product this time, we now finally have the Valve Steam Deck! I haven't played any Valve games before, but I can still appreciate the Half-Life references they put on the box. So cool! Let's unbox it! Ugh! Looks like this cardboard is too hard to open. Looks like we have to soften it up. But what should we use? You guys probably saw where this joke was going. Steam! Come on! Ugh, it's not enough! But I know the perfect place where it will be the right environment to unbox this. Hey guys, welcome to the first sauna unboxing. Plenty of steam in here. Aw oh, yeah, the cardboard is nice and soft now. Easy and soft as cake. Lots of languages saying where you can play it. I'm sure it had sauna written somewhere. Plug in? Unfortunately, I don't think there's any outlets in here. What's in this box? Useful manual, and the charger. Wait, don't they know how dangerous it would be to have an outlet in a sauna? They spent too much time on the Half-Life references. Your games are going places? At least something in my life is going somewhere. Remove this pesky waterproof bag. This is what happens when cardboard hasn't been exposed to steam long enough. Not easy or soft as cake. Why is this security feature necessary? This is Valve, not Vault. Oh boy, this is the second most exciting thing I get to unzip. First being another man's pants, but still exciting anyway. No worries, I already followed this recommendation to a T. I do have one issue though. Why does it come with a useless case? They should have excluded it to cut costs. Never mind. Dust her off, and let's boot her up. I said, let's boot her up. This is why you never buy any first generation products. Oh god, what have I done? I didn't think this skit would kill it. I'll have to order another one, and by the time it comes, it will no longer be a trending topic, my YouTube channel will die out, and I'll have to work the streets! Oh, 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 oh. Always have faith in first generation products. And that concludes the unboxing of the Steam Deck in an appropriate location. We're back home and we're ready to explore the Steam Deck some more. English? MST? We have Wi-Fi! Great! Oh, well not bad. Oh, uh, it's going up. It's going up. Oh, no, no, it's one second now. Oh, no, never mind. It's changing its mind a lot. I think he's had a little bit too much steam. Oh my god, it's shutting down the entire steam servers. I'm so sorry, PC gamers. Oh yeah, let's just sign in. Uh, I'm gonna track down his personal steam username and send him a friend request. Welcome to Steam Deck. Have fun. I will. That was disgusting, I apologize. All right, this is my steam library. And only the most demanding games are great on deck. Let's play, uh, Phasmophobia. Game info. Unsupported. Perfect. Install. Yeah, yeah I know, just install. Play. And just play Phasmophobia. 
Oh, that's a topic I'm not gonna get into, especially right now. And there we go! My saves carried over too! Nice! Ooh! Let's go in! Ooh! This game is actually scarily good on the Steam Deck! If I didn't buy an overpriced gaming laptop, I would actually like one of these. Which brings me to my next point! Let's see if it holds up against what everyone says its main competitor is. The Nintendo Switch! Oh, yeah. Phasmophobia looks way better on the Steam Deck. Now, can the Steam Deck hold up against something more high-end, like the RTX 3080? Huh, apparently it can. Some scuffing here and there, the plastic is warped a bit here, and the case is starting to separate. Not great. Old subscribers probably saw that joke coming from a mile away. To all the new viewers, I'm sorry you had to watch that. But it's a great transition to the more important comparison between the Steam Deck and the Nintendo Switch. The durability test. Can the Nintendo Switch also hold up against the RTX 3080? Looking at the Switch, there's also scuffing in the same areas, and the back of one of the Joy-Cons is cracked. So due to both consoles showing a similar amount of damage, the winner of the first test, the hold-up test, is a draw. <laughs> test number two! The deck test! Which console can survive me punching, I mean, me decking it? Yep, they both survived with minimum damage, which says a lot more about my strength than theirs. It's another draw. Next up, the deck test. Yes, it's the same name as the last test. Can they survive me standing on them like they're a house deck? Results may vary if you want to try it too. First up, the steam deck. Three, two, one. Oh, I heard a crack. Now one foot. Three, two, one. Ooh, crunchy. Still working. I see a crack. Although very small. But it looks like the whole console is slightly bent. Now the Nintendo Switch. Three, two, one. Huh. Not that many audible cracking noises. How about one foot? Three, two, one. Damn, this thing is solid. This one's still working too. It does appear it's bent slightly. Although both got slightly bent, they both survived. Which means I'm not a true gamer. I need more mal to do. But due to that tiny crack in the Steam Deck, I gotta give the edge to the Nintendo Switch. Test number four, the iron test. I'm gonna leave this hot iron on each console screen for about a minute to see which one handles it better. Oh look, the iron also has steam. Steam deck. Three, two, one. And there's the result. There is a possibility it can recover, so let's let it sit for a while. Yeah, it's going away on its own. I don't even need to do a time lapse. We'll check in on this later. Nintendo Switch. Three, two, one. Oh. Impressive! Not a single pixel changed color. After letting them both sit for a little bit, Looks like some screen discoloration will be permanent on the Steam Deck, so I gotta give this point to the 
Nintendo Switch once again. Is this the screen burden everyone's worried about? Test number five, the dryer test. Which one of these consoles can take a tumble? And they can test together. Oh, I forgot my new dryer also had steam. Another crazy coincidence. Two minutes. Three, two, one, go. We're gonna have to cut that test short because my phone decided to join them. Ooh, yeah, that's more steam than I expected. Didn't know it was gonna be a washing machine. They both seem fine, so let's dry off all that steam. And go. Ah, uh, yes. Nice and toasty now. On the Switch, everything seems to be working fine. But on the Steam Deck, I noticed that a decent amount of buttons stopped working, including the two trackpads, and also this analog stick is drifting now. Uh, see? <laughs> How dare you do the Nintendo Switch's job? This round goes to the... Nintendo Switch, surprisingly. Test number six, the valve test. I'm gonna turn this valve to see which console can survive being the wettest it's ever been. So far. Come on, Steam Deck. Most of the tests were skewed in your favor, being related to Steam and Valve and all that, yet you keep on losing. Don't let me down on this one. Three, two, one. Okay, it stayed on. Let's let that sit aside for a while and see if that changes. Nintendo Switch, you're what my channel is built off of, so don't let me down either. All right, I'm liking what I see here. Let's let these sit aside for a second. Seems like they both had ample time to dry out, so let's see. Ooh, color me impressed. This is the first time I'm proud to say it's a draw. The Steam Deck's analog sticks are drifting a bit more now, but since I already counted it in the last round, let's still call this round a tie. Whoa. Final test, the valve test. Yes, it has the same name as the last test, and I know what you're saying. How can this little valve that's not connected to anything cause any damage? Three, two, one. Ooh, yeah. Well, at least it still turns on. Three, two, one. Huh, almost in the same spot. Both rendered useless, so it's another draw. All right, I guess since the Switch has a plastic touchscreen, there's no glass shards to cut your finger off. And also, there's still a little bit of playable area left. So it's not rendered entirely useless. So I guess I'll give this point to the Switch, but it doesn't even need it, cause it's the winner by a lot. Bonus test, the toilet test. Now, before you comment saying that I should have played the free Steam demo game meant for the Steam Deck, I did, just not on the Steam Deck. And that was the inspiration for this test. It's a bonus test because I don't think any of these will survive it. But if one does, I'll drink this water.
Submersion! Three, two, one. <laughs> Shut off instantly. The worst thing you could do is try to turn on electronics after they've been in water. Oh, what? It survived that? Oh, it turned off again. Okay, now it's dead. Why did I do that? Will the switch fare any better? Let's get some music on. Three, two, one. Oh. Still working? It's still on. Oh. And there it goes. Wait. Oh. Just to be safe, let's do the other side. Oh my god, am I gonna have to drink toilet water? How about this way? Maybe I should have taken Luigi's mansion out before that first. Oh, I don't want to play with you anymore. A promise is a promise. Please don't think anything less of me. And it decided to die right after I did it. I forgot. This isn't supposed to be a Nintendo Switch video. It's supposed to be a Steam Deck video. So what should I do to it for losing all those tests? Subject it to more puns! <laughs> Steam d Cream Deck <laughs> Steam Wreck I may have not played any Valve games, but every gamer, including me, knows about this famous crowbar. It took a lot of time and effort to make, so let's finish off the Steam Deck with the main weapon from Portal! Yeah! Wait for it... STEAM! Finally! Perfect for my lobster! Alright, no more steam jokes, I promise. Ah! Head crab! Ugh. 
Phasmophobia may have looked slightly better on your screen, but you didn't have the... Nintendium! Looks like you get a new home! Cool! And so with that, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. Know the difference between a Steam Deck and a Stream Deck. It may save your life one day. Or at least not make your video over budget. Bye!